Hello, my friends. I want to share this app with you that I'm going to use to teach the skeletal system. And I think it's, it's going to be really effective for me teaching the skeletal system, but I also believe it can be very effective for you learning the skeletal system. It's called 3D Atlas. I'm going to click it here. It's, uh, you can get it at anatomy3datlas.com. So, um, you can download it for free, and what you get for free is just the upper limb and I believe the hand, uh, which is not all that you need, but it's actually quite a bit. And for just five more dollars, you get the entire musculoskeletal system. So, you get the upper limbs, the lower limbs, uh, everything you see here. You get the head, you get the trunk, you get the upper limb, you get the lower limb. I mean, you get lots of stuff for just five dollars. Now, let me describe why I think this is such an effective tool for learning the skeletal system. So you're going to be responsible for learning the bones and bone features of the appendicular skeleton. And so here you have all of the bones of your upper appendage. You can see how they articulate. Uh, you can move them around, up, down. Uh, you can change the orientation, you can do different views, anterior view, let me move this, move this back, you got the anterior view, posterior view, lateral view, medial view, superior view, inferior view. I really, really like all the different things that you can do. Let me take that back to the anterior view. So you can see all the bones here that you're going to be learning, the bones and bone features. Now, you can um, isolate a bone. And so as you know, you're going to be learning the bones where I'm teaching you to learn the bones in sequence, starting from the uh, girdles moving down to the hand. So if I double tap the clavicle here, it'll isolate the clavicle. And so I can look at the clavicle. I can move the clavicle around, different orientation. Again, I can do different views. Anterior view, posterior view, lateral view, etc. I'm going to go back to the anterior view. And you'll notice I have these pins here. These pins are different bone features. And most of these bone features you don't have to know. But there'll be a few that you do. And the ones that you have to know, um, they'll be found on your uh, study guide. But you can hide the pins. Right, so I've hidden the pins. Now, if you look on your study guide, you'd see that you have to know the medial end and the lateral end. And if I bring the pins back, and let's see here, this is the acromial end, also known as the lateral end. And this one over here is not what you have to know. Ah, the sternal end, or also known as the medial end. And you'll find those little pins. Most again, most of them you don't you don't need, but they will identify those that you do okay so uh, let me see how do I how do I go back to can't remember how I go back to my full full skeleton here so all right and so after I'm finished with my clavicle I can then move to my next bone which is the scapula again I can move my pins this is the anterior view right so I can I, again I just I love the way I can manipulate this and then I can get to identifying those structures that I'm supposed to know, like the medial border, the lateral border, the glenoid cavity, and that's not the one I need to know, but I have to know the acromion, the coracoid uh, process, right, superior border, and the ever so important coracoid process. So I hope that you can see how effective that you can use this app to learn the bones and bone features that you're going to um, uh, have to know for lab. So I hope this has been um, valuable for you.